In Proto.io, you're not limited to UI item interactions. You can also add interactions on screens, states, and state transitions. Each allows you to use different types of interaction triggers. In all cases, you're free to choose any action from the long list available. To add interactions on a specific screen, click on the screen to see the screen properties, and then switch to the Interactions tab. Click on New Interaction. Here, you can add actions to be triggered before or after the screen is shown or hidden. Another useful trigger on screens is Key Down, which allows you to trigger an action when a keyboard button is pressed. This is useful when you want to simulate keypads or remotes for game or TV prototyping. As an example, in a web prototype, you can define that pushing the escape key hides a modal by setting up the corresponding action. Key down interactions that were added on a screen will only work when that screen is visible. Similar triggers are available on states and are accessible through the State Interactions tab. Available triggers in states are State Enter, State Leave, and Key Down. When you add a Key Down interaction on a state, the action will only be triggered when that specific state is visible. This becomes particularly useful if you need the same key to trigger a different action depending on the state that is currently visible. Lastly, when you have a transition between two states, you may wish to trigger an action when the transition starts or when the transition ends. You can access these interactions on the State Transitions timeline itself. Click here for the State Transition Start and here for the State Transition End interactions.